Hello Year 10, we are going to do a Pythagoras review today. Um, we're going to do a few slides um, and then you're going to have something a bit different to do today. So it is a online set of questions where you can have a go doing the questions and then get instant feedback. Um, so we're going to try that out. There'll be some notes on how to register. It's really straightforward and quite simple. Um, I'm also going to put um, on a link for you just to give some feedback on how you're finding lessons at the moment so we can see if there's anything that we could change or um, do a bit differently for you. So can you make sure you do those two things for me today? Because of that, we're going to have slightly less um, in terms of like a do now or anything like that for you to do um, because we've got that questionnaire. So just going on to looking at these questions then. So we've got Pythagoras. Um, the main things to remember are we need to have a right angle triangle to be able to use Pythagoras. So we've got a right angle in both of these. The first thing we need to think about is to identify which one is our longest side. So we look for our right angle and we look for the side opposite our right angle. This is our longest side we will then call that longest side C. So we've got C here, we've then got A and B, doesn't matter which way around we write them, and our Pythagoras is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So we can just sub in this information now. So we get 12 squared plus 15 squared equals X squared. So we get 144, plus 225 equals x squared. So we get x squared equals 369. Now we've got an x squared here. We just want x. We're going to say x is the square root of 369. We would then get our calculator out. And we, and we get x equals 19.2. One. Okay, now on this second question, we are going to do the same thing. We look for our right angle, we look for the side opposite. That is going to be C. We have got A and we've got B. Doesn't matter too much way around which, which way around we put those. But this time we get 11 squared plus x squared equals 16 squared. And the big difference here is we're now going to take away. So we get x squared equals 16 squared, take away 11 squared. We can then work through the rest. So we can work through the rest of that question and we get down to taking them away here. Um, we then have a value and just need to make sure that at the end we square root. So, okay, so two questions here for you to have a go at. Make sure you're thinking about is it a longer side or a short side you're finding you need to add or subtract. Um, pause the video now and then we will go through the answers on the next slide. Okay, so we have got here, we're finding a shorter side. So this 18 is C. So we're taking away, so 18 squared, take away 9 squared. That gives me 243 and then we make sure we square root. Now what's important to check is this number should be sh smaller than our longest side. So our longest side is 18, so we've got an answer that's smaller than our longest sides. So that tells us we haven't made an obvious mistake. Second question, we are finding the longer side, we're finding the hypotenuse, the one that's opposite our right angle, so this x there. So we're going to add our two sides. We need an answer that's bigger than 11 and 15, which, which we've got. We've got an answer of 18.6. So now, um, can you just finish there? Can you have a go at answering the questions on Docs to Frost? And can you have a go at filling in the Google form for me, please? Thank you very much.